The space race is evolving and China is charging full speed ahead. In 2025, the nation is set to push the boundaries of space exploration with high-stakes missions that could redefine its role as a global space leader. From advancing its Tiangong space station and training foreign astronauts to launching deep space probes and laying the foundation for a crewed moon landing, China is making moves that demand attention. Let's dive into China's boldest space plans yet. China's Tiangong space station is not just an engineering marvel, it's a symbol of the country's ambitions to lead in human spaceflight. In 2025, the station is set for major upgrades, with two new crewed missions, Shenzhou-20 and Shenzhou-21, and a critical cargo resupply mission, Tianzhou-9. These missions will sustain operations, enable more groundbreaking scientific research, and further international collaboration. Since its completion, Tiangong has hosted multiple astronaut crews, enabling over 180 scientific experiments in fields such as microgravity physics, space medicine, and advanced materials research. These experiments have yielded valuable insights into how humans adapt to long-term space missions, knowledge crucial for future deep space travel, including lunar and Mars missions. A major highlight of China's 2025 space program is its move towards international cooperation. In a landmark deal, China has signed an agreement with Pakistan to train foreign astronauts for the first time. Pakistani astronauts will train alongside Chinese taikonauts, with the possibility of joining future Tiangong missions. This agreement signals China's intent to expand its space diplomacy and establish itself as a major player in human spaceflight beyond its own borders. Additionally, China is investing in more cost-efficient, high-performance cargo spacecraft. The Qingzhou cargo spacecraft, set for its first launch in September 2025, is designed to enhance logistics for long-duration missions. Unlike its predecessors, Qingzhou will feature a 27-cubic-meter cargo hold and can carry up to two tons of supplies, making it a vital tool for expanding station capabilities. What makes all these developments significant? China is no longer just keeping up, it's setting the pace. With the International Space Station, ISS, set to retire by 2030, Tiangong could soon be the only operational space station in orbit. This puts China in a leading position for international partnerships, especially as countries seek alternatives for space-based research and long-duration missions. The continued expansion of Tiangong in 2025 is a clear statement. China is here to stay in human spaceflight, and its station could soon become the most important research hub in low Earth orbit. With its scientific breakthroughs, diplomatic efforts, and advanced spacecraft, Tiangong is setting the stage for China's next big step, deep space exploration. While Tiangong is securing China's dominance in low Earth orbit, deep space exploration is where the real excitement begins. In 2025, China is set to launch Tianwen-2, an ambitious mission that will attempt something never done before, bringing back samples from an asteroid and then continuing on to study a comet. The target, a tiny, fast-moving asteroid. China's Tianwen-2 probe will head towards 469219-Kamo-Oalewa, a tiny near-Earth asteroid about 40 meters in diameter. This asteroid is a quasi-moon of Earth, meaning it orbits the Sun but is gravitationally influenced by Earth. Scientists believe it may be a fragment of the Moon itself, making its material extremely valuable for understanding lunar formation and early solar system history. Unlike previous asteroid missions, Tianwen-2 will use a dual collection method, a touch-and-go maneuver similar to NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission. An anchor and attach method where the probe latches onto the surface to collect material from deeper layers. Once the samples are secured, Tianwen-2 will return them to Earth, marking China's first interplanetary sample return mission, but the mission doesn't end there. The second phase, a comet encounter. After delivering the samples, Tianwen-2 will continue towards 311P-PANSTARRS, a main-belt comet that orbits between Mars and Jupiter. 
Comets like 311P hold pristine material from the early solar system, providing critical clues about its formation and the role of water in planetary development. The probe will conduct remote sensing and in-situ measurements for at least one year, studying the comet's activity, tail composition, and volatile elements. Why is this mission groundbreaking? Tianwen-2 will be the first to bring back samples from a quasi-moon and then pivot to studying a comet, a technological feat that showcases China's growing expertise in multi-object space missions. China is no longer just following NASA or ESA, it's taking a different, innovative approach to planetary exploration. If successful, Tianwen-2 will place China at the forefront of asteroid and comet science, with direct implications for planetary defense strategies and deep space resource utilization. The success of this mission will set the stage for future Mars sample return efforts and deep space mining technologies, making 2025 a pivotal year for China's planetary exploration program. China is not just aiming for the moon, it's building a foundation for a long-term lunar presence. In preparation for a crude moon landing before 2030, China is rolling out some of its most advanced space technology yet. The tech, next-generation spacecraft and rovers. China's upcoming lunar missions will rely on a fleet of cutting-edge spacecraft. The Long March 10 rocket, a heavy-lift rocket designed to transport astronauts and lunar cargo. It's capable of carrying 27 tons to lunar orbit, more than triple China's current capability. The Mengzhou Crew Module, China's new generation spacecraft for long-duration space travel, designed to replace the Shenzhou series. The Lanyu Lunar Lander, a specialized lander that will carry two astronauts to the surface and back to orbit. The Tansuo Lunar Rover, a next-generation, crewed rover built for long-range surface exploration. China is developing the Wangyu Lunar Spacesuit, which will allow astronauts to operate on the lunar surface for extended periods. Unlike previous spacesuits, Wangyu is designed to withstand extreme lunar temperatures and offer better mobility for complex tasks. The Roadmap – How Will China Reach the Moon? The mission plan involves multiple launches. One, the Lanyu lander and its propulsion module will be launched first and placed into lunar orbit. Two, the Mengzhou crew module carrying astronauts will be launched separately aboard a Long March 10 rocket. Three, once both spacecraft reach lunar orbit, they will dock and the crew will transfer to Lanyu for the descent. Four, after their lunar operations, the crew will return to orbit, re-enter Mengzhou, and journey back to Earth. China is not stopping at a single moon landing. The ultimate goal is to establish a permanent lunar research station with robotic and human crews working together. China's ambitious space program for 2025 and beyond signifies its determination to become a leading force in space exploration. Through advancements in space station operations, deep space missions, and lunar exploration, China is not only enhancing its technological capabilities, but also contributing to humanity's collective understanding of the cosmos. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.